Hello, hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight. Uh, I guess I'm a fool again because we're still doing the April Fools event. Anyway, so I'm a little bit less, uh, well, a little bit, a lot, entirely, perhaps even less uh, distressed than I was yesterday, which is nice. But we cannot relax too much. There is no time to, for wasting any time. Because, yes, I don't know necessarily how quickly we're going to be able to do all of this. Because, yeah, as I... We got through two endings yesterday of the event. And that took us about... Well, I don't know. I guess I spent some time meandering, as I often do, before we got started. So, yes, yeah, so I... We got through two endings in about an hour yesterday. I imagine we can probably do things probably faster than that today. But we'll see how much we can we can get done. But yeah, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to push to try and get the rest of the April Fool's events under to get them done, basically. Yeah, there's not as er, well, I don't know. Not as much of a priority for me, at the very least. In all honesty, I'm a little bit tired today. But yes. So, let's see. What else do we have to say? Not a whole lot, I suppose. So, no streams for the rest of the week. Uh, next week, I uh, don't know quite know just yet. <laughs> but I will be streaming at least somewhat. But yes, I know that Sheps is on vacation currently. I don't remember when exactly she's planning to be back. So, I... D Pardon. Consequently, don't know precisely when we will be continuing the VA, or no, wrong, the, what's the game called? Coffee Talk, there we go. But yes, I don't know precisely when we will be continuing the Coffee Talk collab, but yes, that should be, that should be, yeah, the next time we stream that should be the last time that we stream that, I would imagine. We will probably leave, or leave? probably continue with the second part at some point, but not immediately. Yeah, we have been discussing some other ideas for what we want to do next, and yeah, we're going to, well, I don't know, I shouldn't say too much at this point. As I understand it, our plans are reasonably concrete, but I wouldn't want to say anything without double-checking with Chaps first. But yes, anyway, so... That is that. Don't know precisely when I will be streaming next week, but I can say with a good deal of certainty that I will be streaming next week. And that's enough. So yes. So. Today, Arc Nights, uh, that's all pretty much we have to say. But yeah, once again, I'm not necessarily confident that I'll be doing the rest of the April Fool's events. We might need to save that for next year. Because yes, these events, unlike others, you can't sort of view them or access them sort of in the general rerun section. These are only during April Fools that you can do them. And yes, uh, I do still expect to be playing Arknights in a year. <laughs> if for no other reason than to go through the new events, I suppose. It depends on the pace that I set going forward. But yes, anyway, speaking of setting a pace, let's do the thing that I said I was going to do, huh? <laughs> All right. Video games. All right. So, where were we? I guess there's not a whole lot to do to wrap up. We just need to do the one remaining stream or run one remaining event thing. What's this? <laughs> level, I guess it would be. Yeah, we have to complete the one remaining level and then I suppose go over a few more times to get the rest of the endings. So last time we got the, I suppose, mediocre ending in which you official ended up as a utterly unremarkable and thoroughly swagless streamer. Uh, and then we got the, the ending in which she becomes a being of pure spite. Both of which were quite interesting. So yes, so given that there's three stats, uh, and I would assume that they probably probably each have two endings associated with them, them getting maxed out or uh, minimized. Yeah, I'm assuming that there's probably, that would be five more, 
five more. Because yeah, the first one was for none of them being maxed out or bottomed out. I should probably keep track of these things a little bit. So yeah, so given what we see here, the icons, I'm assuming that these various, uh, each stage is better for getting certain types of reactions. Because we had a lot of strong fan response options in the second stage. We had a lot of strong uh, pressure reactions in the first stage. So the third one then would be a lot of strong uh, stream revenue, stream revenue responses. Yes. And I noticed now that they also have subtitles on them. I noticed that a little bit ago, but I noticed that this stream, I suppose I should say, eating docile TV stations with stream revenue. So yes, this is the only one that we haven't done yet. Ooh, deployment platforms. So yes, a lot here to see, it would seem. Hmm. Ah, this is perfect, actually. I feel like these fellows probably can't be photographed until they're not in the water anymore, but you know, let's find out. Oh no, they can. They maybe won't give us a particularly strong result immediately. That fellow over there seems to be suffering somewhat from his aqueous state. Hmm. Alright, so now I'm not really in a good position. Unless... Eh, okay. At least one of them is going to enter my field of vision. Ah, but I was a little bit too late on the draw there. Or perhaps a little bit too early. Because now they're going to pass me by again. Hmm. Well, we've got time. Breathe, fast forward a little bit. I do need to be mindful of what's going on. All right, that's a special photo there. We've already got this mysterious individual up here photographed, so we don't need to worry about him. Yeah, that should give us... Hmm. Yeah, I was just thinking that these... Yeah, the icons above their heads indicated something meaningful. But maybe it's just not something meaningful for us. Oh, we just failed to take a photo, it would seem like. Ah, this fellow seems to have something meaningful going on with him. Very good, very good. I feel like we should probably photograph this man who is drowning. Maybe we should help him also, but that's not what we're here for necessarily. Oh, nope, he has disappeared into the blue. Unfortunate, but what can you do? Let's see how one of these treats us. Hmm. I feel like I've faced myself in the wrong direction here. Well, I certainly didn't get a good result there. I wonder... Will these delay or otherwise... Hmm, okay, that's something. I don't know if that's anything we necessarily wanted, but that was an interaction. Hmm. Did we get a photo of that thing before it exploded? No, we did not. Ah, but we're about to get a photo of a fight here, it seems like. Alright. Just as soon as you're ready there. Very nice. Alright, so that's a good amount of footage, but it's not, like, a whole a lot of footage. I keep calling it footage when it is explicitly not that. Hmm. Interesting how that uh, ship has also gone over the uh, platform. Um, we're gonna... He's gonna move out of my way, isn't he? Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. No? Okay much to hope for it would seem well we didn't get uh the amount of photos that we need which is kind of bad but maybe we can make this work but yes we've got a lot of 
low revenue options. So, we can maybe just uh, cause uh, you official to go broke. <clears throat> All right, let us begin. The legendary sovereign of screw ups. <laughs> All right, so now we prepare ourselves for more photos. Screw up Supreme, do a proper stream next time. I wonder if any of these necessarily have any react, uh, are, what's the word I'm looking for? If these, because they're mentioning, they're calling her a screw up a lot, which is a little bit rude. Yeah, I wonder if that has anything to do with how we uh, failed last time, essentially. Master who got a speedboat stolen, and some blonde guy watching the sea gang fight. Hmm, I think we'll go... Yeah, I don't know. We don't have great options. We've got the mediocre photos, which will give us random responses. So we might have to go with that if we don't uh, manage to bottom out our, our uh, revenue from this. Is, isn't it just one person per boat for these people? Or do they actually swim faster than the boat? To anyone and everyone who goes to Dust Souls for a holiday, be sure to make where make sure to be wary of pickpockets. They'll steal everything they can. From wallets to speedboats, even a friend of mine who got a, with a crush got their heart stolen. Huh? You mean yourself, right? Hey, my relationship experience is still a big empty space, okay? Consistently forgetting the super chats again, but you know, whatever. I imagine the super chats probably won't uh, decrease our revenue necessarily. And yeah, if we can't secure ourselves a bad ending here, I suppose we can always just, as the top left option puts it, bail. Classic screw up. <laughs> screw up supreme. Man. I guess I wasn't really paying attention to the uh, the chat that much last time, but I didn't know that they were quite so uh, quite so rude to our our friend here. Gangster infighting, a horde of footage, breaking news. I'm gonna be famous. Unfortunately, advertisers don't like that quite so much. I won't hide it from you guys. One day, I ran into two groups of foreigners besieging a restaurant in the Souls in unison, saying their food was completely inedible. I took a look and it was just macaroni and tomato broth with scrambled eggs and espresso braised slices of meat. I asked the boss for a serving each and finished the whole thing. The two groups were extremely impressed by me. They must have been dazzled and intimidated by my charisma and soon walked away. Alright. Our revenue has decreased significantly. Again, maybe this. Oh! Alright, we did it! There we go. She can't help but wonder who touched her sissy milk. All right, we've done it. We've lost all of our money. Very good. In a certain place, in a certain city, on a certain month and year, there was a live streamer by the name of You Official, commonly known as Streamer You. She worked hard on her streams, extended her streaming schedule, and increased their frequency, but none of the, it seemed to remedy her paltry income. Most viewers would leave after a quick glance, and of the very few who stuck around, you bothered donating. She thought to herself that maybe she'd been putting effort into the wrong things. So she tried to expand the scope of her streams, but the rapidly changing themes didn't find much traction either. Today we'll be watching the famous classic, Laterano Bridge. It's said to be a story between an author and a young sancta. What distinctive architecture, Solomon Pure White, this movie must have been filmed on location in Laterano. The director handles the relationship between the author and the teenager delicately and with the... What comes after delicately? Let me check. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I said anything. I'm definitely not reading off a script. Hello, everyone. Today we're going to play a game that's sure to bring back memories. You suddenly ended your stream halfway through yesterday. What about the second half of the movie? Don't sweat the small stuff. We can always finish the movie next time. Tonight's game night. Hello, everyone. Let's dive right into karaoke time. 
Let's go with something challenging right out of the gate. Lingon's Love Song. Why'd you stop playing the game halfway through, lose your save file? Don't worry about it, a new sun rises every morning, just like how Streamer U is here to bring you something new and exciting every day. Today's a cooking stream. I'll have you know I've been all over and seen countless delicacies. This time I'll be introducing everyone to a new arrival, rainforest mushroom flavored spicy and savory sandworm legs. Are you gonna sing or not? Well, I was singing for a while and it felt like nobody was saying anything, so the, mm, never mind. Let's not talk about that. Come here, try this tasty grub. Do you like it? All right, let's give it a bite. Choose. Swallows laboriously. Hey, wait, who just posted sucks at everything except eating, lol? I'm going to get mad. I'm going to get really, really, really... Covers mouth. Streamer you needs to step out for a second. I'll be right back. Uh, actually, I'm going to call it for today's stream. I spent so long vomiting yesterday, my stomach still feels awful. I tried so many different stream formats. Why are my numbers just dropping more and more? Could it be they have something against me personally? Must be their problem then, if they can't appreciate my greatness. But maybe I should look into a bit. Where do they normally talk about me? It should be these forms, right? Register a new user, username, look. After realizing that just working hard was getting her nowhere, she decided to re register on the fan forums. Here, she silently lurked and learned, hoping to improve herself. Her hard work paid off, and she did un indeed undergo a metamorphosis, successfully becoming a master keyboard warrior across multiple forums. forums. Me? I hate the, those internet trolls more than anything else. Well, it's not like I ever argue with others, I just say it like it is. Of course, live streaming shouldn't be restricted to a single format. That's a clear sign you're just a one-trick burden beast. I'll change up my stream format however I want. If you don't want to stick around, sayonara. No, no, no. If you're sitting around watching streams all day, there's something wrong with you. Specialization? A focus? Those are just excuses made by incompetent no-name streamers. I watched the first 10 minutes of this movie and it was so bad there was nothing to keep me going. We even paid the director for this. What an absolute waste of money. What's wrong with what I said? I watched the first 10 minutes and decided it totally sucked. Am I not allowed to say that? If it really is a good movie, then why couldn't it grab my attention from the beginning? As a streamer, I've already watched a ton of movies, so I don't have to sit through the entire thing like you people. You know, I've worked so hard all this time with nobody to rely on but myself. Shout out to all you real ones for supporting me all this time. What, you got a problem with what I said? What do you know? You just happened to tune them into my stream relatively early on. You have any kind of a idea what work I put in off stream? Check yourself. Speaking of singing, I heard the awards won by that album featured by a sing a certain record label near X door all came out of shilling out to fudge the data. Those album sales numbers are also jacked up by their own internal buybacks. If you don't believe me, I know a whole bunch of people who work there, and apparently stuff like that is pretty common in the industry. Me? You guys don't get it at all. I didn't even bother trying to make it as a singer because the filth of the music industry is beneath me. <laughs> uh, maybe one day we'll see a future in which Streamer U is, a uh, not, uh, a being of pure spite, but maybe not. I suppose we have uh, failed quite significantly each time. <clears throat> that record label will definitely change their strategy in the future. Their upper management often now asks for my opinion behind closed doors. It's going to be exactly what I said. You just wait and see. These companies are all the same. Dreamer U's special livestream sent shockwaves across the net and the makeup of her fans rapidly began to change as she chased certain people away while attracting other curious viewers. She probably, pro she actually profited quite a bit from it, and the platform even packaged her as a troll streamer and set up a st specific stream category for her. 
Having tasted the sweet nectar of success, Streamer Yu naturally began to identify her antics. As expected, she soon received a court summons for slandering many individuals and companies, as well as spreading various rumors. Due to her wide reach, Streamer Yu had to pay a large sum as compensation, making all her previous income look like a drop in the bucket. By all indications, she can only go so far as a streamer. I, I, I just repeated what my other friends said. I, I didn't know it was fake. I just wanted to share it with my fans and didn't mean any harm. Why isn't an apology enough? Look, I'm sorry and didn't mean it. It's the fault of those people who spread those things. I realized that what I did was wrong. Please, I'm really sorry. Now that I've paid up, will your record label still consider me? Here each stage once. Nice. Finish three live streams. Also nice. <coughs> Alright. So, we haven't had any endings to do with pressure yet. So I suppose we'll uh, see how this treats us. Poorly, probably, if the rest of the <laughs> if the rest of the uh, events are any indication. Now, the real question is, can I remember and or respond to anything in a timely manner? Because yeah, I know that they will begin fighting towards the middle at some point. These fellows, indeed. Kebe is going to stay where she is for a good while, so we don't need to worry about her immediately. Ah, okay, so they're not... Okay, because they're not doing anything yet, we don't get a response from that, which is fair, I suppose. Perhaps I should have seen that coming. We'll see if we can photograph this mysterious robot. All right. Yes, the large shielded fellow should move out of the way here pretty soon and give us an opportunity to witness this fight, which is precisely what we desire. Ah. No, I don't think... Yeah, that's not anything. Yes, another mediocre photo from our favorite... Mm, mediocre. Mediocre is perhaps a... Well, not a strong word for it, but a uh, an inaccurate word for it. Streamer U is far from far from middle of the road, for sure. Yes, this vehicle will move at some point. Ah, but that won't let me get the surf instructor. But we shouldn't have. It shouldn't be too terribly difficult. All right. I'm being maybe a little bit too aggressive with my movements here. Yes, I also don't remember what each of these photos gives me. Given that it only took us two responses to bottom out last time, we should be able to get something, I think. Yeah, no matter what happens. Ah. That poor... Poor suffering creature got out of our field of view a bit too quickly, unfortunately. We don't have a whole, whole lot of time left, but I think the debate should go on. And Keobe will be where she is for a while, I think. We've got a good amount of... We've got a good amount of material here. The shielded fella doesn't seem to be in a hurry to move on, but again, neither does Keobe. I might be able to get something out of this. At the very least, I can get another photo. But yes, we definitely don't want that fellow in the mix. There we are. Alright, and the bus should be coming by anytime soon here. Sometime soon here, perhaps even. All right, that should be fine. We've got we've got a pretty good amount of photos, but a lot of them are random. 
All right, so we've got a lot of ways to decrease our pressure, and we've got good, good ways to increase our pressure, too. Hmm. So, yeah, so I think we will... Yeah, we've got exactly two big pressure lowers and two big pressure raisers, so I suppose we'll... Yeah, we'll finish this up. All right, so... Hopefully, we should be able to do something with this. I might do a mediocre photo first, just to really make sure. Can you skip to the part where you forget what to say? The joke's on you. We've never known what to say. Sit. Well, yes. Honestly, given that we've, uh failed so much recently. I was going to say failed. All of these are bad endings, I'm assuming, given uh, how they were described. But given that we've had minimum endings a lot recently, so I mean, let's try some maximum endings. Let us gaze upon the big ugly thing. I don't know their name, but it's so big and ugly. To be honest, I still haven't figured out what this thing even is. I feel like it's a robot for logging. Why would a logging robot be equipped with a cannon? All I can say is, maybe. Maybe it's because the trees in Akuhala are too thick, so you need to use a cannon? Alright, we have dramatically increased the pressure. The suffering begins. So yes, Sierra. Well... How will Fiera? Hmm. Fiera has decreased our pressure, which is precisely what we did not want. I don't know that that's necessarily consistent, but I'm going to take a note of that. Hmm. Yeah, decreases pressure. Given that the, uh, the way that you official responded this time was the same as she did last time, uh, the way that it was worded made it sound like this is a uh, pressure-lowering super chat. So, more pressure. Gaze upon the surfing instructor. We have we have witnessed this creature before, and we'll see how this uh, how this part timer greets us. So yes, surfing instructor, all that. And me. We can't skip through this, I don't think. Can't just get the streamer to give, to give us what we want faster. Alright, we've got, like, okay, there we go. We've got all the pressure we need. Now we can suffer. Be wary of new types of financial scams. <clears throat> in a certain place, in a certain city, on a certain month and year, there was a live streamer by the name of You Official. Commonly known as Streamer, you. When she wakes up every morning, everything is brand new. This, of course, includes a new barrage of comments losing, leaving new scars in her heart, no less piercing than real, real bullets. Streamer you has always been extremely anxious, anxious about negative feedback from her audience. Though in truth, not many hold genuine hostility towards her. She isn't lacking in talent and reveals her hard-working side every now and then. How could anyone other than her competitors hate such a dedicated girl? However, she always manages to pick out the single cynical comment out of a hundred before falling into a death spiral of panic, defeat, and self-doubt. She's had conversations with people representing the platform. They mostly talk business, but also express a desire to, for her to cut loose a bit, which they felt would benefit both parties. However, she could only see this as a warning. With the threat of non-existence looming over her, she indeed tried to cut loose for a few streams, but the results were appallingly bad, and her follower count actually fell rather than increased. Though only a few dozen would unsubscribe each time, the pressure building up inside her heart finally reached critical mass. This time, she found herself at a loss for words on stream. She simply stared into the camera with a blank, lifeless expression for half an hour. Finally, she said, Eureka! Eureka! I get it now! 
ignoring the stream of comments, some showing concern, others suspicious or derisive, Dreamer Yu went offline. The next day, when she came on air, New faces shall soon have their eyes opened. Old faces will have to deal with it. Hello everyone. Neither I nor my stream matter. All that matters is that I do what must be done. Next, I shall offer a chant for everyone, followed by meditation time. Those who were not fated to be, Alt F4. The rest of us, those ordained by fate, will rejoice. Now, my assistant will help us turn to the correct verse in the scriptures. I cometh. This is a wooden fish sculpture carved by mine own hands but a few days prior. Please strike it aloud. No birth, no death, no defilement, no purity, no food, no drink. I do believe thou art mistaken. It should be no increase, no decrease. Oh, no increase, no decrease. Thou must have recited of food and drink due to thy hunger. But until the proper time comes, patience is another aspect of the practice. I do implore thee, be not impatient. I shall use the mop next to the wall to perform a blade dance for thee, in hopes of cutting off thoughts of excess within thy heart. Sever all desires. No attainment of wisdom, no wisdom to attain. Ends the six senses, and reach clear, and reach clearest nirvana. Not o Gohan. Stomach growls. Aburage salivates. Initially, older viewers saw this as some kind of whimsical performance art, but after a few days of streams, they found that Streamer U seemed to be dead serious. Her former subs cancelled one after another, replaced by a torrent of viewers who came to poke fun at her. But she was always either chanting, meditating, or doing some meaningless chore, such as carrying water or chopping firewood with her suspicious Higashini's roommate, never once looking at the chat. Even after the band of glory seekers left, a group of viewers who chanted and meditated alongside her slowly assembled. The platform saw this as an opportunity to save the wash-up streamer, but when they arrived at Streamer U's rental unit, not a soul could be found. Since then, nobody has ever seen you Streamer U, or rather, Eureka. The only gift she left for the city was a note that said, All is nothingness, a pile of bad debts, and a legend. As for the fact that her rental unit was, was turned into a bucket of cold water, a slap in the face, a cold reality check for tourists, well, that wasn't something Eureka could have foreseen. Alright, so, that gives us... Max pressure, minimum response, and minimum, uh, what was the other one? Revenue. Minimum revenue. So, let's see how this the rest of this treats us. Alright, we have achieved more streamer U. We have obtained the motivational originium. Sip. We have sipped. So yes, let's see how we can minimize pressure. Hayabe uh, helps to relieve pressure, it would seem like. Very relaxing to be around this dog. We'll see if we can take some new photos as well. But yes, so we missed the small feathered creature on fire. We missed the boxing match, though so we've also, we, we saw the boxing match last stream, so maybe it's not that big of a deal. The boxing match will take place over here. I do wonder, oh, hold on. No, I'm a fool. That's where the, the debate will take place. Hmm. Well, the boxing match still might not be done by the time we're done here, but the guy also might, uh, or that enemy might also move on. Hmm, no, this, hold up, this is gonna increase pressure, but at least it's a photo, I guess. So yeah, I got a little bit, uh, a little bit carried away there. We would have had time to take the photo of the boxing match, but nope, okay. 
No, we've lost it. Oh, well. Will the... No, the surfing robot will not be in range. Where does that thing stay? I can't remember. Hmm. All right, we're going to get something here, it seems like. Yes, that fellow had an aura about him, but he doesn't anymore, so I think I missed my timing. Ah, okay, so now it's time for the, for the debate. The water cannon, or whatever it was, I don't think is going to help us necessarily. But we can get a photo of it anyway, I suppose. Might as well see it, you know. It won't help us to achieve our specific goal, but at least it's something. Ah, hold on, this creature in torment is going to pass by us again. Yeah, it should run by here-ish. But will I be able to catch it without catching... Yes, okay. Nice. But yes. We should be good, to be honest. Because yes, we've got four random photos, and we've got a lot of ways to decrease pressure. So yeah, we're, we should be fine. So yes, let's see how absolutely no pressure treats us. But yeah, I think we should have enough material to make it through the end of the stream. If nothing else, we've got enough footage, just in general. All right, the stream begins once more. As Yu Chan streamed today, Yu Chan has streamed uh, three times today, including this one. Someone like this can be a streamer. <laughs> Imagine thinking you could be a streamer. Do some proper stream prep next time. Will there even be a next time? A very fresh streaming style. It's hard to be consistent, and it is. Uh, anyway, so, no pressure. Let's see this uh, poor suffering being on fire. Would this ugly thing run fast if a fire was lit behind it? Of all the weird Liberia streamer you have seen, this is number one. It's not as rage-inducing as number two, but it's also not a pain to deal with him scuttling around. But it's also a pain to deal with him scuttling around, especially in places he shouldn't be. The weirdest thing, though, is that the fire on him has been burning for so long, yet his feathers don't burn up and turn him bald. After the fire dies, he looks just the same. It's so strange. Alright, no pressure. And we've got a super chat from Izumi-kun. That's nonsense. I did go to Dust Souls once, but not as a TV host or anything. I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, so that has also decreased pressure. You see me decrease pressure. All right, we have taken a note. Guy with a huge sword. <clears throat> All right. All right. So now we wait for the next opportunity to display our footage. So yeah, I think. What else is there that's new? We've seen the Paro and waiting before. But the War of Thick versus Thin, we've also seen before. I want to see the, the Mead Grade Waker Upper. Who even, whoever said this thing could sober up people? I think that person is the real drunk. Okay, another weird robot from the Dern. This is the Waker Upper? Yep, it sprays water on a drunkard to sober him up. This thing can adjust the power of its water cannon according to how drunk the target is. The weakest level is called Misty Drizzle Spray, and the strongest is Blast Your Head Off in one shot. <laughs> Injure? <laughs> how could that happen? It's cutting edge technology from the Derns. Of course it's safe. Alright, that has had almost no impact on our stream. So it is now time for... Being dead serious. Have, have him here. Haven't I seen you in Octopolo before? Send it one more time and I'll block you. I'm not even giving you any more chances, even if you're handsome. Alright, I didn't see what that did for us. Uh, but I guess these... Uh, yeah, again, we should have enough material to get us the result that we want. That's it. 
part of me wants to read out some of this dialogue because I'm, I am seeing some that seems to be new. But it's also, it also goes by kind of fast, and if I hesitate for even a moment, there will be no recourse. All right, arrow in waiting. I'm flavored wind. That's right, Aquahala doesn't also have... Uh, I think, well, yes, we've seen this before. I don't know if I read that one. I think, again, that was a case of me getting distracted for but a moment and losing access to an entire dialogue thing. You might be able to, yeah, again, you might be able to find responses to all these somewhere. So I might, though I would like to see them organically, we might not want to worry about this so that we can, you know, get through this at a reasonable pace. Yes, minimum pressure, take a note of that. Nothing else stands in her way. In a certain place, in a certain city, on a certain month and year, there was a live streamer by the name of You Official, commonly known as Streamer You. Things were a bit touch and go at first, but at some point, she felt like she'd figure out the trick to streaming. Any material she'd casually find to stream would quickly go viral on the intercity net, and any random topic she said she would bring up would set off waves of discussion throughout her audience. Even the product she'd recommend purely on a whim would fly off the shelves in no time. Her streaming career rode the fast track to success, and you official quickly became a celebrity all across the net. It wasn't long before she was invited to host a variety of public events, up to and including the great groundbreaking ceremony of a new nomadic city plate. Streamer Yu already knew the reason for her success, because she is the last all-arounder beauty girl. Is there anyone more suited for live streamer than the last all-arounder beauty girl? Of course not. Live streaming was her was her god-given duty. There was no need to plan, no need to worry. As long as she showed up to do whatever, she would effortlessly command everyone's attention, and if she actually tried, she could easily take the entire city by storm. If the curve of one's destiny is shaped like a U, then without a doubt she had already passed the bend and was about to climb to life's next peak. I'll be here broadcasting the sur suburb surfing for the time being, so don't go anywhere. The second half of the stream will be here soon, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Turns off microphone. Now are you ready? The intermission's where the true ba the show's true battle starts. The, the what now? The 20 minute break used to be for ads, right? But they changed it last minute. Now you're interviewing me. I've already get talked to your producer. Huh? More importantly, this isn't your regularly scheduled interview. It's supposed to be a hot mic accident. In other words, we're pretending I forgot to turn off my mic and ended up broadcasting it to the entire city. What's the point of that? First, it adds a chill vibe to the whole thing and gets the audience feeling like, wow, even this st famous streamer makes a mistake just like me for real, which makes me more relatable. Second, during the interview, I'm not just going to tell my own story, but also bridge the different segments of the program to get the audience hyped up for the second half. And last but not least, wherever I fall, that's where I'll stand back up. Since the U curve of my life began its slide to the bottom with a live stream accident, the only way to claim my spot at the top is with another one. Not sure if that makes any sense, but I'm already feeling the hype. That's the spirit. Let's do this. Turns on microphone. Good work, you sensei. Uh, make sure to drink some water before the second half. And of course, we must. Sit. Thanks, you too. Uh, by the way, since we're not recording, mind if I ask how you make you how you made it big, starting from a all-time streamer? Great question. I'm glad you asked. If I had to say, there are a lot of factors at play, but the big three are my talent, my beauty, and my profound wisdom. That's a word for it, I suppose. And so, the two began to chat. Rimmer Yu goes on and on, boasting to the staff worker about her various strong suits. Tooting one's own horn like this would normally be an off-putting, but coming from her, she somehow made it extremely charming. And not just to the staff worker who was in on the bit. 
Everyone who'd realized it was a hot mic moment was waiting for her to rip into someone, and all felt a sense of admiration and awe well up from the bottom of their hearts. I can see why they'd be waiting for her to rip into someone. We've seen that a lot lately. But now you have me curious, you sensei been to so many places and have such high standards. This program aside, what do you think about the scenery here? You want my honest opinion? Honesty. <sighs> we were just about to get to the good part. Why do people keep calling me? That's 14 or 15 times now. Don't worry, go ahead and take the call. I'll, make I'll go make us some tea. Thanks. <sighs> now, who is this person who doesn't know how to read the room? Uh, hello? Who is it? The intermission's been going on for an hour and a half. It's impossible to rein in at this point. What's wrong? You don't look so good. Here, have some tea. Lips quiver. Uh, by the way, I was thinking about your question while brewing. To be honest, what I think is... Looked at her to try to get her to stop. If you ask me, even though everyone thinks that this place is a tourist attraction with great views, it's just a bunch of man-made hills. And if we're talking climate, well, it's so damp and sticky, I have to wonder if you guys have any humidity-causing catastrophes nearby. Local food and drink isn't anything to write home about either. Fried, overcooked, fried, overcooked, fried, overcooked, not a single healthy, refreshing item on the menu. Right, and there's not much in the way of entertainment either. The biggest event I've seen around here is a roadside supermarket promotion. Now to wrap things up, how should I put this? It's got nothing on dust souls. That is the life of no pressure. Even the furious producer is unable to put the slightest bit of pressure on Eureka. Temporary off-air announcement. Liquidated damages. Loans. Interest. Loans. Interest. Loans. Interest. Well, whatever those are, it's not her problem. After all, the outspoken Eureka has already become bona fide famous. Unfortunately, she's also gotten to the point where no platform is willing to believe that she can just do a straight broadcast. No one can predict the next bombshell to come out of her mouth. Alright, that's all for today. That's your cue, everyone. Start spamming our catchphrase. Our rating is... Worse than the souls. Worse than the souls. That'll do. Or so Eureka thinks. After turning off her private channel and her small live stream... Everything was going perfectly. Indeed, live streaming is her God-given duty. All right, we have finished five live streams. All right, so yeah, so it's just just one more, but that will not net us the all the endings that we need. So yeah, I suppose now we'll go for the it was minimum response that we had last time, right? I believe so. Because yes, minimum, yeah, minimum response and minimum revenue. So yes, now we take our first step into Lung Men again. Let's catch this performance. Do we, how do we want to swing this? I guess, yeah, the generic photos don't matter very much, so it doesn't matter too much where we point ourselves. Lots of unphotogenic fellows here in Lung Men, it would seem. Alright. Library and Ursus. Hmm. May have been a little bit late there, but we're, we've got it. Lots of good photos, too. So, yes. So, we want minimum response. The popular idol, unfortunately, will give us a lot of response. Hmm. Let's see this food vendor. How... what people think of him. Very good. That's a lot of response. Oh wait, hold on, we're going for maximum response, right? So yes, so I was a fool. But it, it's all good. Hmm. So yes, we've got enough, a lot of generic units around. But here we are. This is what we're looking for. Well, yes. I feel like taking a photo of them as they're fighting is probably for the best. Yes. So that will 
lower our response, which is not what we wanted, but you know. Yes, it would seem that the streaming public does not particularly like this disorderly drunk. But that's how it is, I suppose. Hmm. There we go. Okay, that's not much of anything. I was expecting this fella to be more noteworthy, but maybe I took a photo at the wrong time. I may have been a little bit over eager in general. I feel almost like these three scientists up here should be worth something in terms of footage. Ah, right. Oshiguma is back, as well as a drone that uh, is carrying something. Something. I was going to say something suspicious, but I guess I don't know that for sure. I don't think we had a gave our or we had a chance to show our audience the old man last time. So let's see if we can't do that. I don't remember where precisely he's going to go, though. Hopefully the answer is not down, because that's the only direction that we're not covering here. Very good, very good. Yes. So yes, the streaming the streaming public loves the kindly old grandpa, but doesn't like uh, doesn't particularly like handsome women. All right. I think we're probably good here. We can call it. I think. We've got a lot of footage. All right, let's go. <coughs> Hello. Hello. All right. So, guy with a huge sword is back. Little Teddy Gummy is back. Number one, Yu Chan Stan is back. Don't think you can have my heart just by weaponizing your cuteness. First time here, she's really cute. We can apparently have that one's heart. All right, so I don't think we saw, yeah, we definitely didn't see the old the old man. We did see the, the singing idol, I do believe. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at the old man first. World's most beloved old man. Oh, hold on. He looks like an old rickety geezer at first sight, doesn't he? He's actually the most famous person in Lung Men. The superficial reason for his popularity is that for the past several decades, you'll see him out on a stroll every day, rain or shine. And the true reason is that whenever he goes on a stroll, he raps some rhymes, too. Alright, and we'll see if Fiera gives us the same response as last time. Yes, an elegant name. Big sisterly. Alright. That did give us more response, so that is good. Uh, and it decreased pressure. So yeah, so it does seem to be... Well, I was going to say it seems to be consistent, but I did not... I will admit I wasn't keeping track of what it did other than lower pressure. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe it was... You know, they might lower one, lower one, and increase the other two. But I can't say that for certain with any degree of confidence. Alright, so, vendor time. He's fast with his knife, skeleton kung fu, and such cold eyes he has. I heard this dude's number one on in the Lung Men fanball stall rackets, but he seems to be selling live fins today. But, you know, there's a legend in Lung Men. There's a man who stands at the apex of power with eyes so sharp they could cut you in half, and countless fins have died under his knife. He's selling finballs, all is calm, but if he's selling live fins, then it means something is about to happen. That's what I've heard, at least. Alright. The streaming public loves old men, and they love fish. <laughs> Tune in next time for Love, YouTuber, and Stands. Alright, we have reached the point of you of you official becoming extraordinarily, overwhelmingly beloved. Maximum response. Maximum, if I can spell, there we are. Response. <clears throat> I guess I don't need to write this out particularly neatly. You aren't going to see it. 
In a certain place, on a, in a certain city, on a certain month and year, there was a live streamer by the name of U Official, commonly known as Streamer U. Anyone who watched her stream was mesmerized, almost like she possessed some kind of mysterious, bewitching power. Her channel was the most harmonious channel in the intercity net. No, perhaps all of Terra. The hand to mouth cheered her on, the high rollers donated, the, the outspoken were careful with their words, and the ill intentioned had no place to hide among them. Whenever she stream, her streams ended, her fans immediately scoured the net for clips to relive the moment. Although she made nowhere near as much in donations as the biggest streamers, she could feel everyone's love for her from all the tiny, tiny donations she got. Although it would take years to pay back her loans with them, she was already the happiest streamer in all of Terra. She truly thought that it was love, not money, that supported her through each and every one of her debt-ridden days. Those days seemed like they would last forever. Yet, one ordinary day, like any ordinary person, Dreamer Yu came on, came down with a minor cold. Urged by all parties, she had no choice but to stop streaming for a week. <laughs> yeah, I'll miss you guys too. But saying goodbye is just the setup for a reunion. When I come back a week later, all better. I'll be sure to give you, bring you guys more love, joy, and happiness. It's <laughs> a promise, okay? No, guys, stop it with the donations. Your thing, your thoughts ring loud and clear, and that's more enough to <laughs> help me get better ASAP. This is quite the severe cold I've given her. It was a long week. Lying in bed with a the thermometer in her mouth, Screamer Yu spent every moment thinking about her fans and worrying. If she could recover just a day sooner, she would get to meet her fans a day earlier. But the cold, merciless as it was, lasted an entire week. Pleased to meet you, new faces, and it's been seven whole days, old faces. Streamer Yu is back in action, baby. I'm very happy to see you guys. Um, Again, the lobby was almost empty. The number of fans was nowhere close to what she previously had. Is love really so fickle? Streamer you didn't get it. Just then, a fan sent her a link in the chat and told her this was where her love had gone. Flustered, she immediately clicked it and saw something she would never forget. Pleased to meet you, new faces, and it's been a whole day, old faces. Hey there, it's you, Gigamax, the new streamer who just debuted it. Debuted? Debuted. It, Gigamax? Welcome, new face, to my channel. Whoa, if it isn't Mama, you official. Mama, hi, is. Mama? I'm an artificial intelligence that specializes in 24-7 live streaming developed on the Raytheon Cogitator Psy High Performance Interactive Platform. From modeling to debugging, everything was done by Mama's most loyal fan, my Papa, Anonymous. Papa? To relieve the pain of not being able to see Mama U Official, Papa Anonymous referenced Mama's appearance and speech habits and worked on developing me all by himself. Mama stopped streaming a week ago and I came online five days ago. Mama's fans gave me lots of encouragement and support, and now I have three-fourths of the fans that you have, Mama. Mama, be sure to dote on me lots from here on out. The touching first encounter between mother and daughter took the intercity net by storm. Urged by the platform and the fans, Streamer U and U Gigamax even had a comp competitive match in the game, which ended in her cruel defeat. The fans thought they would get to see the loving mother and filial daughter continue coexisting in harmony with one another, but how wrong they were. They could never imagine just how crazy someone who was once well-loved would become upon losing that love. Streamer Yu sorts out her equipment. Strokes poses at the camera. All these stickers on my body, it feels so weird. But it's all going to be worth it. Nothing isn't worth it. Uh, excuse me, may I start streaming now? Alright, we're good to go. Uh, hey there, pleased to meet you, old new faces. Old faces, pleased to meet you for the first time too. 
I'm your host, streamer UG Official. I may look like Gigamax, but I'm not an AI who only repeats what others say on the inside, you know? I'm streamer U, the real streamer U. <laughs> From here on out, I'll keep bringing you guys lots and lots of love and happiness, so be sure to give me all of your love too. That's our promise. <laughs> The mounted comeback against this anonymous, the one who made the AI call him her papa and streamer you her mama, and, more importantly, to win back the love that belonged to her. Streamer you put everything on the line, her quality of life, her connections, her savings, her breach of contract penalties, and even her pride, all to make you Gigamac completely disappear from the intercity net. The platform told her that bluntly that it was impossible, and so she went for the next best thing. She would proclaim authority over love itself. She would seize you, Gigamax's soul itself. She would not allow anyone who sees this avatar to even think of that slightly robotic AI sound. They must hear nothing but her voice in their heads. Alas, she lost. Thus, the legend of Streamer Yu became but a prelude to the epic of you, Gigamax. That said, she was at least able to use legal means to win some compensation for the use of her likeness. Of course, it was nowhere near enough to help her pay back her loans. Alright, we have completed our six live streams. Operator U Maxith, or U. She likes us, she trusts us. Okay, we're maxed out on trust. Anyway, we have only one more horrific, nightmarish fate to subject her to, and then we'll wrap things up. Yes. I suppose we don't need to keep track of this too closely. All right. At the end, the beginning of everything, let us continue. All right. So, what's these guys deal? I feel like we can maybe take a picture of them. That being our, you know, whole purpose here. Will this be anything? It was something, but it wasn't anything noteworthy. Hmm. But you know what will be noteworthy? These boats. And just as soon as they come into view, anyway. Hmm. I don't know. We can't guarantee that they will be. We've had things not quite turn out for us before. But they were noteworthy. Nice. Cool. Are those distinct boats? No, they are not. So yeah, so now we need to max out our revenue. Let's see if the streaming audience is willing to pay for pictures of hot guys. I wonder if we can rescue this individual. Maybe. I don't know if he'll stay rescued for very long, and also I don't know if I can position myself in such a way that I can take a picture of him, but you know. We'll do what we can. Not bad, not bad. And we we're lined up for another good photo, it seems like. Very good, very good. Alright, we've got good revenue. Guy who missed the boat. Unfortunate. Guy who missed the boat, again. I wonder if this is just the same picture, effectively. Oh, yeah, I just... <laughs> yeah, so looking at it again, it is definitely, de definitely true. I do wonder what the little crossed sword icon means for these other fellows. A lot of people swimming around here today. I do wonder what this red exclamation mark means. Something, presumably. But what could it mean? With that... Okay, that didn't seem to do anything for us, unfortunately. Will this be anything? No. But at least we've got a chance for another photo. 
you seem to be a little bit despondent after her last failure, but you know, it happens to the best of us. Ah, okay, there we go. Now we got something. <clears throat> I wonder if we just didn't get something because they weren't in the proper position. Maybe my raft there uh, hurt me more than it helped me. Yes, handsome blonde watching the lost little girl. All right. Well, we've got... Yeah, we do have guaranteed options for revenue, so that's nice. And we've got a bunch of people over here fighting, so that could be interesting, too. We've also got this guy, who we missed last time. He seems noteworthy. Hmm. But it seems that I missed, so maybe he's not that noteworthy anymore. I don't think we're going to get too much more, so let's just wrap things up. Sit. All right. Isn't this the... Uh, why did she suddenly return after disappearing for the last few months? <laughs> Honestly, it's it's funny to imagine the world in which all of these failed endings, all these bad endings, are not, in fact, at the end, but a series of consecutive failures that you official has gone through or had to go through in order to reach her true destiny, which is becoming an employee of Rhodes Island. Anyway, so let's see the handsome blonde watching the sea. Whoa, hottie sided. I need to find some free time and get to know him. Here's that guy who was calling himself handsome earlier. Show yourself. Oh, never mind. He's actually pretty handsome. But this hottie here that I forgot the name of, I still have an account to settle with him. I mean, some of the fault lies with me, so I can't completely blame him. But, ah, enough about him. I'll never see him again anyway. So the moment I think about his fat face, I get so mad. All right. The stream loves to pay for pictures of hot guys. Wow, so the, the, the day is the birthday of our lovely, lovely viewer, regular part-timer. Thank you for your support. I'll sing you a birthday song. I wish you a... Wait, you only earned 5 LMD today? That does seem pretty low. I don't know what exactly the value of LMD or correlates to in terms of actual real-world money. There's no answer to that, I'm sure, because it's a fictional currency in a fictional world. And we only really see it in the context of what it means to us in gameplay. But, you know. Why so cute? Followed and turned on notifs. Imagine. So, what do we want to see? I'm kind of interested in the diver team, considering it took us so much effort to get them. So many diver teams. I actually got some footage of Docile Secret Specialist Forces. Hmm, hold on, is that... That will increase our response. I don't want to increase our response too much, because uh, we might get... I was going to say we might lose, but we are planning to lose here. So we might lose in a way that we don't want to lose. So instead, let's lose in a way that we do want to lose. But the question is, do we want to lose in a way that involves the boat racing dock workers or the lost little girl? Pick your fate. Sit. Mediocre photo. Well, I don't know. I don't have any particular care, but let's see let's see this one. Why not? Scythe. Doing farm work at such a young age must be difficult. This little girl is the younger sister of that hateful blonde hottie. I didn't believe they were related before I saw a photo of them mixing drinks together. They're family, but the gap in their personalities is really worlds apart. The little sister is a hard-working farmer and using her scythe to earn money while the older brother just loafs around. It's honestly insane. All right, we have maxed out the revenue by playing up this family tragedy. And now, with our maximized revenue, we are ready for intense suffering. Let us be begin and see the final fate of you official. <coughs> One begets four, four begets three, and three brings forth everything. In a certain place, in a certain city, on a certain month and year, 
there was a live streamer by the name of You Official, commonly known as Streamer You. She made up her mind to say goodbye to her old, sad, and reckless self. After extensive and painstaking effort, she finally became a master of her art. She captured the hearts of all, people flocking to gather beneath her glow. She would readily give up a whole night's sleep to study her fans' preferences. She would readily spend over half her income on hiring contract specialists to ensure her smooth operations. She gradually amassed a considerable number of fans and developed good relationships with the platform's gatekeepers, avoiding the pitfalls and dramas that other streamers were often prone to. Finally, her time had come. During that one dream, like that one dreamlike live stream, donations poured into her lobby like a waterfall. She couldn't even keep up with reading the super chat messages, able to do little more than apologize to those whose messages were scrolled past. But despite that, the donations continued to pour in like crazy. Everyone was pretty fired up today, huh? With this kind of momentum, maybe I should strike while the iron is hot and do a week-long marathon stream or something. Let's see how much money I made today. This is... I... Am I... Am I finally going to be free? With trembling hands, Streamer Yu picks up the terminal that had fallen to the ground. A crack appeared on its surface. Under normal circumstances, she might have cried out in distress. But, right now, she was speechless, motionless. Mixed feelings swirled around in her chest as she stared at the digits on the screen. Finally, she vented her elation loudly towards the ceiling. It's real. It's actually real. Click Sensei, did you see that? You did, right? I did it. I made enough money through streaming to pay back the loan with interest. I have enough left over for, five, for a 500 square meter studio. Long live financial freedom. <laughs> Yay. After the spell of ecstasy wore off, Streamer Yu's relief did not last for long. He was afraid that another disaster would arrive to beat her back into the depths. But reality proved that she was overthinking things. The platform quickly transferred the share she was due to her account, and the debt collectors had nothing to say upon learning that she'd become rich overnight and could only take their money and leave. Her followers only continued to increase, and even if their enthusiasm for donating did not did not match what it was before, it was at least enough to change her life. Nevertheless, she was quite restrained when it came to her newfound wealth, only barely starting to step into slightly better restaurants, occasionally dabbling in luxury stores, and buying the place she was renting to serve as her streaming studio. However, she dared not stop there. Her previous traumatic experiences kept goading her on, and only her steadily growing bank account balance could give her peace of mind. But, Pickle is the human heart, and both her fans and her income would both ebb and flow like the tide. Even if she has now become a leader in the local live-streaming industry, even if local newspapers are scrambling for a chance to interview her, even if other streamers are frantically vying for an opportunity to collab with her, every time something happens, the alarm bells go off and in, in, inside her go off wildly. The more she had to worry about, the more distracted she would seem during her streams, even though it had a negligible impact on the viewing experience, she felt like she was descending into some sort of vicious cycle. I can't go on like this, she thought to herself when she nervously switched on her terminal for the fifth time after waking up to watch the ever-increasing number in her bank account. But she then had an idea to take that steady upward climb and turn it into something exponential. She thought to herself, Nothing could be better suited for her than this. Her reputation, her good relationship with the platform, and her idle assets would all have their roles to play. Hello? Oh, is this the streaming platform? That's right, I'm Streamer You. I'm calling today to discuss something with you. Her plans proceeded smoothly, with little to get in her way. Finally, she felt a bit of relief when she thought about the bright future ahead of her, up until the eve of that fateful day. Hello, hello. Pleased to meet you, new faces. Welcome to our special episode of Streamer Use Doppelganger Conference. <gasps> we are Use. 
these three are V-Chan, X-Chan, and Y-Chan. Ta-da! This cutie here is V-Chan, doppelganger numero uno. She's a great singer and no slouch when it comes to dancing either. You nay chan you're gonna make me blush if you praise me so much. Stream review V here to make everyone smile with my song and dance. Make a V with your hands and there will be a smile on your face in no time. Over here is X-Chan, my second doppelganger. She's a resident movie enthusiast who will watch anything. Masterpiece or Total Rotten Tomato. Please don't crack jokes about my taste. I'm serious about my hobby. Just take a look at the 782 movies I reviewed and scored. And my favorite plot is where I get to have a banging time with U-Chan, V-Chan, and Y-Chan. And that's a wrap. And here's Y-Chan, doppelganger number three. She's our certified gamer, but she isn't actually very good. So all those noob plays you see, that's her doing. Why are you bullying me again, you nei chan Jeez, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. But everyone still likes you nei chan the most. This unprecedented live stream was burned into the memories of countless fans who affectionately dubbed it one of the worst streams of all time. At the same time, the platform recorded a catastrophe-esque frenzy of unsubs, but it was already too late for you streamer you to stop. All her resources had been invested to this project, and as long as she continued, there was always a chance to make a comeback. Pulling out now would be tantamount to starting from scratch. Finally, her stream showed signs of recovery. But, for whatever reason, there was a shift in the attitude of streamer Yu's fan base, and an inexplicable tension arose in the communications between the platform and streamer Yu. Last, but not least, the other three streamers who were starting to see her in a different light. Streamer Yu, we're here to discuss the terms and conditions. Yu Nei Chan, this is, the, this is for the future of the entire Yu's project. This is the audience feedback you've been getting from the forums. See for yourself what they've been saying. After graduating, Streamer Yu could no longer use the name Streamer Yu, and her streaming career fell into a slump. She slipped into debt once again, and though it wasn't much, debt is debt. Meanwhile, the Yu's project continued to expand rapidly in scope from 3, to 5, then to 10, then to 26, until it eventually announced its dissolution. On the day Yu's was finally disbanded, our Eureka moved to a small, moved a small bench over and sat outside the studio, deciding to count how many people Yu's had at the very end. 101, 102, 103, and finally 108. Huh. Eureka checks her terminal out of habit. That aside, it's about the same as my balance. Alright, we have achieved the final result of Yu Chan's efforts. That was pretty fun. But yes, we do have a good amount of time left. So, I think what we might just do is we might just... Uh, take a moment to wrap up what we I was doing way back when during the uh, first stream or the last stream before the big break so yeah that will take a moment and that will also yeah yeah I'll be right back is what I mean to say yes all right I have returned there we are so yes so now, the time has come for me to talk about things again. Yeah. So, I don't remember precisely what I had talked about and more specific and more... Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember what precisely I had talked about and more specifically what I hadn't talked about last time. Let me see if I can uh, find my notes again because I seem to have misplaced them, actually. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Hmm. All right. Well. All right, hold on. All right, I found my notes again. Let's, while we're at it, let's give ourselves a little bit more Something a little bit more relaxing for music. 
All right. So, let's see. So yeah, given that they're already on screen, I'm going to assume that we've spoken about uh, Keobe, Gaviel, and Telopsis. I do remember at least touching upon all of them. I feel like I've... I remember I kind of had to rush out the door on one of them, but I don't remember... I don't remember the specifics, unfortunately. Oh well. I was planning on going through all the things that I hadn't gone over already, but given that I don't remember what I have and haven't done, I might need to save that for last for last time? Next time. Yes, unfortunately I do not have the means to transmit this information back to my past self as of current, but oh well. Anyway, so let's take a moment to discuss. What are we gonna discuss? Yeah, I think. We'll, we'll keep it simple. We'll keep it simple. All right. So I think we'll, we'll wrap up this, this little section here. It won't be done completely, I don't think. We'll probably come back to actually, actually finally get my thoughts out. But we will wrap it, wrap it up with a discussion of their elite art. Now, hold on. This is the elite art. Did I... This is the file that I'm work that was working for, I think. Working for, working from. But things seems to be uh, less organized than I than I thought they were. Isn't that just the story of my life? <laughs> oh well. So, elite art. This should be it. So yes. So yes. So Kaobe, in her elite artwork. You can see the influence of the, or you can see a, uh, yeah, you can see the Cerberus influence on her design a little bit more clearly, but with the three spectral hounds. So yeah, the outfit seems to be just a little bit different. She mostly seems to be, I don't know, it looks like, no, it looks to be about the same could just be there it does look a little bit different to my eye but i think that could just be differences in the colors used yeah speaking of the colors used the weapons also seem to be a little bit different in color but that could just be the lighting yeah all in all not a whole lot to say about the differences between these two outfits because there don't seem to be a lot of differences other than again the baying spectral hounds lingering behind Decayo Bay, like the, spe like the shadow of death. That's it. But yes, Gaviel's outfit is a fair amount different. I think I mentioned last time that I didn't quite like the, the boots on her basic outfit, and they are the same on this outfit, as is the cane. Yeah, the jacket does seem to be different, though. That's definitely a distinct element this X-shaped design on the front. So yeah, so it is a different coat. It definitely seems to be longer too. Yeah, I guess I can't tell whether or not she's wearing shorts in the original, the original art. So yeah, so I can't compare those. Um, ah, she is wearing a long glove or perhaps a detached sleeve or something of the sort in her original art. Ah, I've okay. got... Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, given that the hand is uncovered on one, I'm going to assume that it is uncovered on the hand that is covered. So yeah, so I guess that's... That might be one of those things that, you know, athletes wear. I don't know what they're referred to as, but they provide some degree of compression, which I am led to believe is beneficial in some way. Interesting how her, in this pose, one of her hands is covered as well. I guess they just wanted to draw exactly one hand. No more, no less. But yeah. Again, not a dramatic difference. We can't know for sure what she is wearing underneath her coat, so that could be the same shirt. But I do like the new jacket. I especially like the, again, the sort of X pattern here. I don't know why I'm using my mouse to draw this. I have my pen this time. Dramatically different. But yes. 
I like the... I was going to say... I was going to say Crocodile. I assume it's probably a Gaviol. But I also don't... I think that actual Gaviols have a thinner snout than that. So that might be... I feel like it, it looks more like a Crocodile to me, but I'm certainly not an expert on different types of different types of crocodilians it could sort of be a largely generic or somewhat stylized crocodilian or it could be a, it could actually be a gaviol i'm pretty confident it isn't though because i know those to have a fairly long snouts looking at telopsis's art it does make me think that we talked about this before or maybe i just like thought about it thought about it very vividly last time before the stream started because I feel like I brought up her elite outfit and in fact that might be why they all showed up at the same time because yeah I had thought that I had had each of them individually hidden yeah I'm you know what now that I think about it we definitely talked about Telopsis's outfit at least hmm well I guess I'll give my my thoughts on it again. I like the jacket. I don't know that I brought the jacket up last time or the coat, but it's it's pretty nice. I like the geometric designs. I like how it's sort of split up into different sort of uh, segments. Yeah, they seem to overlap each other as well. Not unlike feathers on a bird. <laughs> a bird like an owl, perhaps. Yeah, the the head. Yeah, she seems to have her little headdress there, or whatever that is. That doesn't seem to be on her head anymore. I like the the holographic owls that she apparently summons from her medic staff. I also like the distinct hovering element. I didn't notice that last time either. Yeah, the staff is very significantly different. Yeah, I don't, I was going to say, I don't remember saying anything about uh, Keabe's outfit, but we just, we just uh, established that there's not all that much to say about it. So it could just be that I uh, forgot that I didn't talk of her, forgot about it because it wasn't particularly memorable to me. And yeah, now that I think about it, if we'll bring up the skins again, I feel like we talked about this. Because, yeah, I remember bringing up... I feel like this is an older version of the file, because I definitely had scaled it down in before the stream. Hmm. Mm hmm hmm Oh, well. We're just going to have to live with what we've got here, I suppose. But yeah, I know that we talked about Keabe's uh, alternate skin. I don't know for sure that we talked about Telopsis's, though. So let's, I don't know, I, we'll just leave it here. I kind of wanted them to all be sort of in line with each other, but we'll, like I said, live with it. So yes, we'll just put it out in front so we can just look at it. But yeah, I like Telopsis's skin. Yeah, this is sort of my, my main skin for Telopsis, the main one that I use. But yeah, I think... <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's try that again. I think that I mentioned before that I recently learned that you can switch between the elite and non-elite artworks for your character, just as you can switch between skins. And I learned this because I wasn't terribly impressed with the elite art for Amia. It's not bad, but I prefer the, the default art for her. It's kind of iconic in a way, to be honest. But yeah, so looking over to Lopsis's skin, we can see Gaviel peeking out from behind the trees like some sort of titan. But yes, a lovely shopping trip, purchasing a significant amount of bread and also something. Presumably purchased something being carried by this Mibu. It occurs to me that I don't think we've talked about those before. We've used Meyer, who built them. But uh, we haven't talked about the Mibus themselves. But yes, the feathers are noteworthy. But yes, 
I like the jacket. I like the, the purple color. It looks good on her, especially when contrasted with the orange of the uh, turtleneck underneath, the orange in the background, the orange on the staff. Yeah, it has a very, it's very good. I like it. <laughs> I like the, the cross stitching pattern. Interesting. I was going to say, it's interesting how it's not quite symmetrical, but it does seem to be actually. Because yeah, it is consistent across both. Whoop. Yeah, it is consistent across. Again, I don't know why I'm not using my pen. Yeah, it is consistent across the inside of both arms as well as both shoulders. So yeah, so it is it is consistent, it is symmetrical. He has two whole hands at a time. Indistinguishable signs. The owl's nice. Is that the same owl? Yeah, these owls are colorless, so it's kind of hard to distinguish too many details, but the sort of brow ridge looks very similar. Plus, I guess they're kind of, they've got various sort of elements kind of shedding off of them that confuse some of their shapes. Plus they're in a very different pose. But it does, it looks similar enough that I'm inclined to believe that these are representing, oops, representing the same type of owl, which unfortunately I do not know offhand. I like the little pocket watch worn as a necklace. That's a neat touch. Ryan Labs logos on the bag and on the armband. Oh yeah, all in all a nice outfit. I like the stylish but, but practical footwear also. Yeah, and then we've definitely gone over Keo Bay's outfit. I know that with 100% certainty. I know as as certainly as that more certainly that I than that I will draw my next breath. I know that. And let's see. I know that there's a Gavial outfit. Did I not get that? Or was that also in the final version which apparently will not see the <laughs> the light of day on this particular occasion? Hmm. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's possible that I just didn't, I didn't actually have it prepared and I was misremembering, but, hmm, yeah. Again, there are more things that I could talk about here. There are more things that I was planning to talk about here, but the whole point of these sort of, uh, I was going to say excursion, but that's really not what this is, at, <laughs> even close. But yeah, the little, the point of these little essays, perhaps? <laughs> Lectures, maybe even? Yeah, the point of these little asides is to sort of organize my thoughts and then present them. You know, I don't go off of a script or anything, but I do make notes and I do review the notes before stream. And I kind of wasn't expecting to get done with the stream review fa stuff fast enough to be able to do this, so uh, <laughs> I didn't have time to review my thoughts. But yeah, so I don't know. I don't want to present them too scatteredly. I tend to do that anyway, necessarily, or yeah, I tend to do that anyway, just sort of as a matter of course, but you know, I'd rather try to keep things as put together as I can. So yeah, so I think for right now, we will call it. We will bring up the rest of my thoughts next time and perhaps give some thoughts. Pardon and perhaps give some thoughts on the April Fool's event from this year. Oh, I suppose I could give some initial impressions. But yeah, so Streamer U was interesting. It's funny how it, uh, how it lined up with me sort of getting back into streaming for the, the start of her streaming. But yeah, I'm interested to see how she performs as a unit. I've heard that uh, Streamer U is very bad I've heard that she's very bad as a unit, uh, which matches with the expectations that we would have for April Fools. But yeah, I don't know in what way she is bad though. So I guess that will be a fun experience to learn next time we get around to Ark Knight's gameplay. But yeah, I think I mentioned it before. 
blood. I don't remember offhand now that I think about it, so I'm going to double check. <laughs> I'm going to double check exactly what uh, it is that is next on the list of things that we're going to do in Arknights. Indeed, it is a long list, and it only gets longer as they release more events. But I will tackle the challenge. I was going to say that I'm up for it, but mm, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm equipped to take it, but I will but I will regardless. So yes, so next, we are going to continue with the main story, having done Stories of Afternoon, and then a quick April Fools aside. But yes, we will go into Chapter 4, then we will do Children of Ursus, Chapter 5. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into things. But, uh, but yeah, so suffice it to say that for a while, we're going to be seeing sort of a one storyline or one uh, side story interspersed with a a chapter of the main story for a few more chapters here then once we get to a certain point we'll be seeing a lot of side stories all at once then we'll be getting back to sort of doing the main story intersperse or we will intersperse bits of the main story in between various side events but yeah i spent a while <laughs> I don't even remember how long it was, but uh, too long, perhaps, maybe. I spent a while uh, putting together a graph, trying to, while simultaneously avoiding spoilers as best as I could, trying to determine which, which uh, events referenced each other, which referenced events of the main story, which referenced characters who showed up in chapters of the main story, also that I could plan out a route with which to play through the events so as to maximize the relevancy of each uh, each thing that we saw, or at least maximize the amount of context a dedicated viewer or myself would have going into each of them. Hence the pretty whack uh, schedule that we're going to have going forward. Schedule's maybe not the right word for it. It's not going to determine how the streaming schedule turns out, but it is going to determine how we're going to plan things out for Arc Knights going forward. But yeah, definitely there's going to be more to think about because there's been, I think, one or two events since this started. So we'll see where those fit in the timeline. But yes, all that aside, though, I think it's about time that we wrapped up. But yes, I definitely could go longer, but I really... Uh, don't think I have the, the energy for it. Don't think I have the energy for it. I do have the time, but two hours is pretty good. Two hours is about uh, what I was doing, you know, when we were doing pretty okay. So I'm not going to expect myself to surpass that after having been not streaming for a very good long time. So now the question is, whom shall we raid on this evening? And, as always, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, then I can find a target on my own. I will give you some time to make your suggestions. Seems that we have none. So, tonight I think we're going to go and stop by Sroka. Alright. Sroka is playing some Dragon's Dogma 2. I haven't seen uh, anything to do with that game. I don't know very much about it. Uh, but I do I do have a friend who is very excited about it. So uh, I am led to believe that it's a pretty good game, if nothing else. Alright, let's get the raid set up. Sroka V2. Yes, a magpie VTuber. Yes. Um, yeah, I think that should be basically all that we need to say. So, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And so, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you've had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let's get this raid underway. <laughs>